from all around your lawn. I'm here to tell you how football is strong. Welcome back. Now, a very special guest this morning we have from Inverlee, the coach of Inverlee, Lisa. I was going to say Lisa Milne then, but it's mm -hmm. not Lisa Milne, it's Lisa Baker. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. And how are you? Good, thank you. Good, good win last week by you guys against yeah. us. Yeah, it was a good win. Yeah, it was a very big win, actually. Um, so, Lisa, tell us about Inverlee, like where you're at, what you're doing, and um, how is everything going out there? Oh, oh we started off of a rocky start to the season, mm. um, losing a couple of players, but um, we've managed to pick up a couple of players in their replacement, which has been um, really good for the and team. And where did you get them from, Lee? Um They're from Geelong West St. Peter's. Uh, yes, so, right. okay. yeah, well, beggars can't be choosers no, at this time of the season. Um, so, was that, so was that the Callahan connection that got the girls no, across? No, no, I was approached by one of the parents. Yes. And um, about coming across it and playing some A-grade netball just to... Mm -hmm. Um, to get them to play against, you know, bigger bodies and a bit more, you know, used so to. So, what were they playing out there? Like? Uh, B grade. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. And position wise, what, what positions do they play? Uh, one plays wing attack and one's a goaler. That's great. So, who have you picked up? Uh, Gemma Schaefer. Yeah. And Mary Waldron, we're still a bit uncertain on whether she okay. will be coming. Well, that's across. good. Yep. That's great. And obviously, juniors too, which is even better. Younger players. So, yes. hopefully, they'll be committed and stay with the Inverlee Club and that succession plan yep. will follow through yep. for you. Um, I saw that um, Kath Mellon was back this week. Or has she been she in and out? Or she's been she's the played, last few weeks? Well, no, she's played every game. In yeah. goals? Yes, in yes, goals. Yes, yeah. so I was very interested. Maybe that's why it drew my attention because yes. she played goals because she is a very good defender as well. Yep. I think the advantage with her is the fact that she was a basketball of the Supercats and we all know that, so she's got the advantage of shooting and defending. No, that's right. So we've got a lot of versatility in our teams. Mm. You know, we didn't have the Callahan girls on the weekend. Um, so we were and it didn't really matter, actually. <laughs> no, so we're able to swing lots of, lots of people around yeah. and, you know, lots of juniors coming up through the ranks too. And do you u utilise them in, in all your grades, Lise? Like all the juniors, yeah. yeah. We've got um, Taryn Love, who's just stepped up to A grade to be developed. So she's sitting mm -hmm. on the bench and she's only still bottom age 17. So we've got Melissa White, who's the starting mm -hmm. yep. seven player. Um, she's only just gone into 17s. Then we've got Chloe Reardon, who's just come out of 17. So we're out... Yeah, you're uh, lucky. Yeah. And Very with lucky. The, the depth out at Inverlee, especially with your juniors, is remarkable. Yep. Like, I'd, I watch the juniors and I watch some of the seniors and then I just thought, oh my God, you're a force to be looking within years to come, that's for sure, like in the next couple of years, easy. Yeah, no, it's and so Lisa, good. Yeah, what do you think the key to success has been with Inverlee with their junior development? Because you always have been very, very strong. I know when I coached um, quite a few years ago when Kim Martin was a junior, Inverlee were always right back up there and that was around the start of the competition. So, what do you think the key to success is? Um, I don't know, the key to success is good coaches for starters, yep. um, um, but also moving the kids up through the ranks into seniors, mm -hmm. which which helps them. How do you keep your attention on those kids, Lee? Like, I mean, some clubs will go through and they'll lose their juniors to other teams. Is it is it because of that connection with the coaches or they disagree with things or they don't gel or, you know, how, how do you actually keep the juniors at your, t at your club? Oh, well, for starters, I suppose a senior game helps. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll bleed them straight through when we, we think they're ready, mm -hmm. but it's the club environment. Yeah. You know, if kids like the club environment, they're going to stay around. Yeah, and, and they're all locals, I presume they're yeah, all they're locals? Yeah, most, lo yep, most are locals. Live yep. in Inverlee or surrounding all, yep, districts? Yep, yep. And that's great. That's great for Inverlee, great for the club, great for the competition. No, and that's what you want. Yep. Yeah. Very good. So you're sitting third on the ladder at the moment, Lise. Um, Werribee, Belpost Hill. Um, how do you think you're going to go against those teams? And oh, well, the first week wasn't too good, but no. then in saying that um, we didn't start off too well to the season, um, so... Was that just a case of not gelling with the, t the team that you had, Lee? Like those we, ones coming through and didn't gel on the court? No, we didn't have anyone new that yeah. week. Um, oh, okay. We had the disappointment of a couple walkout yeah. pro week prior yeah. to that. Um, we had a, a few injuries, you know, Chloe Reardon was out, she's mm -hmm. only been back the last two weeks, yeah, so we had to play a, basically a BA squad and then we someone went down with an injury that day in the B grade, yeah, it was a bit all over the shop. Well, you're not the only one in that position. No. <laughs> so that game obviously against Bell Post Hill's not going to give you a true indication no, of where not. you are against no. obviously what, what we believe are the top two teams of the competition oh, definitely at are. this stage. So. Um, you meet you meet Bell Post Hill again. Meet Bell Post Hill again, but we don't meet Werribee. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
So that'll be definitely, I'm sure the um, the score will be different and the, the game will be a lot different Probably. next time that you play. Definitely so, so we'll definitely be watching and, and, and see how you go, especially given to that you're sitting third, which is a fantastic yeah. achievement this far into the season already. Just quickly, probably keen, um, obviously it's the interleague game today. Um, you are coaching the, the under-17 yeah, or junior am. side, so yep. are you able to give us a little bit of information about that? Um, obviously how the team was selected um, and the process and, and where the, the girls are at? Um, the team was selected through, each club was asked to send their top two players mm -hmm. to a um, selection trials and I selected the team mm -hmm. um, based on that one trials um, and then we've had uh, one training session. Mm -hmm. So it's, a bit, it's going to be a bit hard for the girls on today yeah, <laughs> to yeah, compete, yeah. Um, but it's not going to be that, it's just see how we gel together on the day. Yeah, that's going to be an um, interesting game for you. Um, and it is against the North Central uh, Netball League, please. Have you got any insight to this? No, I have no, no insight <laughs> at all. I think you'll find, Donna, we're actually playing the Maryborough and Castlemaine District yeah, Football and Netball League. I think so, right, Amanda, as you always are. Of thank course. you, Lisa, for coming in this morning. We no, really appreciate it. I know it's early, but um, thank you anyway. But now, Amanda, we're going to throw it a flashback, and it is the North Central Netball League from last year. We hope you enjoy this flashback. From all around you long I'm gonna tell you how football is strong Football is strong. Yeah. 